Okay, so for this week's lesson, we're going to talk about getting the uh, this car class uh, configured to handle an image. And <clears throat> in a subsequent video, we're going to talk about how do we pass uh, multiple cars from scene to scene and how do we keep track of multiple cars. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is just sort of to lay out uh, an idea of where I'm going with this. I've created this simple view. Oops. I've created this simple view. And the idea with this view is that it's just going to be a scene. And on it, I'm going to have a list of all my cars here. When I click on a car, it's going to update the image of the car on this side. And then there'll be a little button to go back uh, to uh, to create multi to create new cars and just keep adding to this list of cars. So that's what I'm going to do in, in today's uh, lesson. Now looking at our existing car class that we had done in or we built out in the last lesson, we had this idea of static uh, sticker numbers and um, you know the car's actual sticker numbers, make model year milers, these types of things. But we don't actually have a way to track the image of the car, even though in our um, our new car uh, view. And here we have an image. We saw how to use the, um, the image view object, but we didn't actually connect it up to our car. So let's do that first. So in the car class itself, in, if you're going to give a car uh, an image, we need to store that somewhere. So in our code, what we need to do is add somewhere to store the car's image. So just like we have make model, right? These are strings and integers, which we're used to, but an image is also just another class, just like a string is, right? So I can create uh, an instance variable for that. And then in my constructor, um, what I'm gonna do is I'll just add on another requirement here that I have an image. And I should update comments, image of the vehicle. And down here, I'm going to say set image. And if I right click, I can generate getters and setters. And I only want that for the image. So here I can access my image and here I can set the image. Down the road, I may want to perform some validation on this. That's why I'm using the set image method. Um, but for today, I'm just going to accept that if it's already a valid image, I'll set it directly. So I'm assuming whatever is passed in has already been validated as an image object. Like I can't pass in a PDF, for example, because a PDF is not an image. So now I have an image for my car class and I need to update my new car controller to handle that. So in here, in my new car controller, I have an image view object, which we did in the last lesson. And all I'm going to do is, um, when the submit button is pushed, first we check if the fields are ready to submit, right? We've got our, is it, is it a valid car object? And then what I need to do is it's expecting to have an image passed in now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say comma. And here I need to pass in an image. Well, what's fantastic is I have an image view object. So I'm going to start with that. So that's where the image is stored. And all I'm going to say is get the image. So that image view object really has already validated for us that we have an image in it. And I'm going to say get image. Actually, I shouldn't say that it's uh, validated it because technically it may not have an image in it. Um, <clears throat> in which case, really, we should surround this in a try catch. Um, and if it doesn't have at least an image, we should uh, we should handle that. Now, the way that I know there's an image there is in my initialize method. Um, I put this default car, so there should always be a default car there. Uh, but technically, it's possible that it wasn't able to load that car, in which case it would have also aired out uh, earlier when the scene loads. 
So let's, uh, let's take a look at this now. When we run, oh. ah, this, this, uh, this is why you don't keep old code in here. <laughs> I'm going to actually, that was, we use that for testing. I just going to delete that all the time. Okay. Launch our program. We get the default car. I can change that. The crazy looking car is here. I'm going to load my default car. I hit submit. And everything uh, still works. Now, until I actually change scenes and have another way of uh, representing this car besides a string, I can't actually check that this, uh, this image is part of the class very easily. Um, but we're going to do that in the next video.